And just think, not but a couple of weeks ago, all this was nothing but a bunch of dust and rocks. Nice. Hello everyone, welcome back to Regrowth. Well, there's finally quest progress to report on the Millionaire line. This agricole town ended up being a really good investment. It made almost all the products that I needed. Most importantly, their, their tree farms, they produce cider apples, and they eventually built a tavern. From that tavern, occasionally they are making cider. Now, apparently every single person in town wants to keep this stuff stock, so they aren't selling it yet. But I can go and I can occasionally, you know, steal some from them. My rep takes such a small hit from it that I just need to sell them a couple of bookcases and they're good. But that wasn't the last town I needed. I needed to make one more town, a military town, so that they would build this fort. Yes. And in the fort, we have a dame. Hello, dame. And she, so long as I provide her with dyed wool will produce these Norman tapestries, which were the last thing that I needed for the Norman souvenir quest, which just gives me a crap ton more cider. Lovely. All cider does is it heals a couple of hearts. It's not even alcoholic, I don't think. Nope, it's alcoholic. Sweet. Anyway, as you can see, I did something I swore I would never do, and I returned briefly to the spirit world in order to get that quantum ring back, because I decided that I'm just going to grind out these quests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the quantum ring here so I don't have to keep teleporting back and forth to my base, which is the cause of, like, one time in the three it'll cause a crash. I'm just going to build a little platform up here. Actually, I'm going to build this a little bit higher in case they upgrade the fort. But I am just going to build a little platform up here, set up the quantum ring, and use that as a supply depot to start building other towns. Specifically, towns of the other cultures I need stuff from. The Hindi, the Mayan, the Japanese, and the Byzantines. As well as those crops, which I think are from Hindi and, um, yeah, uh, wine grapes are from the Byzantines, turmeric, and, yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff from agricultural towns of the various cultures. It'll be a very slow grind. And actually, I think that after this is done, I'm going to try tearing up the world anchors and just leaving this place because I think that Millionaire might be the mod responsible for that weird stuttering behavior in the AI. Anyway. This is the multi- And I just need to... Give it to power. So this Norman Tapestry, does it... Does it actually do anything? Can I place it down? Well, I placed it down and it disappeared from my inventory. So that's great. Yeah, Millionaire... I really want to like Millionaire. It's cool. But it's so damn buggy. Like, the villagers get caught in... L let, me, let me show you something that's happening with, one of, with some of these villagers here. This lady here, she's stuck. Her AI is locked into trying to sell me stuff. She will stand here day in, day out, doing absolutely nothing. And even if I try to, like, nudge her, she, she, like, teleports around for a few seconds, spazzes out a little bit, and then she just gets stuck back at her place again. Really, I should put her out of everyone's misery. 
And villagers that are stuck like that, even if they get stuck somewhere useful, like if they get stuck selling to the player inside of a fort, they... you can't really right-click on them. Sometimes it'll work, like, maybe one time out of a thousand. And I have villagers stuck like that all over the place. And sometimes they won't sell to you. Sometimes, like, dialogue will be buggy when you go into a quest. It's just... it's a mess. It is a freaking mess. Ugh. Anyway. Let's take out our Wand of Summoning. Yes, I have I have a lovely amount of oak wood stored up. It is so excellent. Mm. Especially since it's probably the most commonly used resource. And I think I have abandoned world anchors as a viable chunk loader. They just seem to cause trouble. And really, a hopper full of ender pearls lasts so long. There's no point. I'll just use the free chunk loader from Chicken Chunks. Which is more configurable anyway, and I think I need these... I think I need to make the entire town chunk loaded in order to avoid some of the behaviors that I'm seeing. Anyway, I'm just going to go until I can barely see the other towns. Okay, let's make this one Hindi. Note that most of these other cultures have a hell of a lot less town than the Normans do. Oh yeah, and also I am a leader of the Normans now. So I can make this custom town, which allows me to use my summoning wand to order them to build a building anywhere. So now that I don't need it anymore, I have the ability. Anyway. Yeah. Most of these other cultures only have three types of town, which is going to be like... A, um, a a medium-sized agriculture, a medium-sized military, and, like, a big town. Like, I think this one is the Hindi's agriculture, this one is their military, and this one is their, their palatial mahal. But I think that almost everything I want from the Hindi will be in the agricultural one. So let's go with that. Zoop. Ooh. Oh, these look quite lovely. And of course, everyone is off to sleep because it's nighttime. And it's actually helpful to let them sleep because I found out children only grow up when they're sleeping. Actually, did, did they start with any children? I don't think they did. Okay, well... This part of the interior should never be rebuilt, so it should be safe to keep the chunk loader here. I'll set it to... Eh, I'll keep it on two chunks, just to keep memory down. It should be okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep right on top of an NPC here. I do not care about them anymore. Normans, you have given me everything I want. Although, while I'm here, I could give a few diplo diplomacy points to the new village. Yeah, here's the major of the guild. Hello. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's stuck, so I have to kind of nudge him, and before he spazzes out, talk to him. Yeah, see? Every day you get five diplomatic points, and you can use that to mess with how they feel about other villages. And these guys do not like the Hindi. So, I'm going to have to... Like, I, I don't think that they will go to war on their own. That That's a message that can show up in the chat, by the way, so... 
Actually, I should be away from the thing that's producing all of the... All of the spam. So I can have my chat right on. She's selling to the player. Of course, now I get spam of a different type. Anyway. Yeah. I, I don't think they will attempt to make war on the Hindi on their own, especially since they might or might not be chunk-loaded. But just to be sure, I'm going to try and get their reputation to the positive. And they might start some interesting trading behaviors if I can get it all the way up. So who knows, maybe I'll get some some new content out of Millionaire yet. Oh yeah, this little girl is stuck. Where's, where'd she go? Where's she teleporting to? Boop. Yeah, I don't even see where she teleports to. She just, she just freaks out. It's a sad story. And she'll never grow up because she never sleeps. Mmm. Talking about organizing a raid, huh? Where's the Seneschal? Or where's where's the guy? Ah, there he is. Yep, those will those points will just regenerate over time. It's no big deal. I can spend them arbitrarily. Hmm. And their clothes are very interesting. Of course, I can't understand the word they're saying yet, because I haven't traded them a billion things. Except for these signs, which... And, and the trader who says he'll be right... She'll be right here. Okay, so it looks like they just buy all the basic resources. Huh. Brick mold. Interesting. They sell some interesting things. And they sell... Powerless pearls, just like the Normans. Huh. I was hoping for something unique on each one. Oh well. But yeah, now I just need to supply them up with tons of raw materials and wait for them to build the town, which, with this... Stuttering behavior is going to be a slow and painful process. <sighs> I'll talk to you all later. Okay, look at this. See what the moon is doing? Yeah. It's not just the AI. It's not just machines. It's not just entities. Time itself is stuttering. What? Ever loving crap. And yet at the same time, things that things are running smoothly. I mean, look at this cloud that's not dependent on time. It's it's running buttery smooth. Now that I'm away from my base, the game runs perfectly fine. What the hell is going on? So the base building material that the Hindi use are these mud bricks, and they are producing them on their own, but very, very slowly. So, what I did is I bought from them this brick mold here. It just cost like a couple of basic deniers. And if you have a piece of dirt and a piece of sand in your inventory, you can right-click with it and make one of these bricks. And if you leave them out in the sun long enough, eventually they dry. So, I'm just going to be helping them along, building their town. Of course, these wet bricks that the mold makes can also be just be picked up. They pick up with a shovel. They're a bit like dirt blocks. And there is another use for them. These things can be baked into another kind of brick, which I'm not sure if the Hindi are going to need, but I am going to get them a couple stacks worth anyway, because this I can actually make faster than the sun-dried stuff. See, they can be baked in a furnace to make proper baked bricks. Um, well, different than Minecraft bri bricks. Anyway, I don't feel like running back to my base to get a sample of this stuff. And I could just use the Norman's furnaces over there, but let me show you a little trick. I'm going to set this into processing mode, and I'm going to say wet brick to, um, I don't know, alderwood. 
It's a lie, of course. And I'm going to put that down into my smelter, our last slot on this one. And I'm going to tell it to craft me, say, just one alder wood. Start that up, and then immediately cancel that, because that is, of course, a lie. Because what I really get is... Where is it? Huh, did it not go? That's weird. It should have... It, it just goes into a furnace, right? Yeah, no. Okay, let me look up what I need to do. Oh, you know what it might be? I think I don't cook the uh, the wet bricks, I cook the sun-baked bricks. So they're double-cooked bricks. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, once more from the top. Except this time, using these bricks. Okay, let's just make one of those. And obviously cancel the craft. And there we are, we get a cooked brick. So then I just replace that, and now the recipe is proper. And I can make these, and it'll actually confirm. So that is just how you can configure machines at a distance, even with processing like this. It's a little bit of a runaround, but if you really don't feel like walking all the way home, it can, it can save you a trip. Check this thing out. It's really pretty for... I think it's just a well. I don't think it does anything, but I like these crisscrossing stairways. Neat. Oh my god, the spam! About half of their population is children, and they all just sit in this little square talking. The sea of words. Okay, here's the situation. I'm trying to get these jokers to grow me some turmeric, because that's what I need for one of the quests. Oh yeah, and apparently making them bricks was the souvenir quest. So, souvenir's done. But these guys are the only ones who can grow turmeric. The problem is, the building that makes turmeric is a secondary crop, or is a secondary priority. Meaning they'll only build it, like, when, you know, when they feel like it, essentially. And they've already built a rice paddy, which is a similar priority, so you'd think they'd get to it. Well, <laughs> well, apparently these jokers think that they need a temple more than they need a tradable spice. And this temple needs a Hindu statue to be complete. Because, you know, it has to be completely proper. And they won't build anything else until it's freaking done. And... They have a stone carver to make their statue, but the problem is, he is a bachelor. It's only just this one guy living here. And it turns out that the way that the stone carver works is, he sends his wife off to get supplies, and then he turns them into statues. Because he doesn't have a wife, he cannot make statues because he refuses to get supplies on his own! And... <laughs> I could just wait for some kids to grow up and maybe he would marry one of them, but um, no. I think I'm just going to roll the dice on getting another stone carver who isn't a single stupid idiot. And hopefully, hopefully this place will repopulate in a couple of days. And then I'll get someone who isn't a bachelor. 
Oh dear. Have I pissed off the entire village now? I, I waited until the dead of night. Okay, how do I apologize? <sighs> Maybe I should have just waited. Mm. If I have to, like, build a completely new village now. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I put a bed on the roof here just so I could sleep, and apparently someone took a liking to it. Really? Okay. Oh, but she's she'll still sell to me. That's nice. So, um... Yeah, I, I guess that everything is still working properly. I just have to, like, let them beat on me whenever they feel like it. I don't know, maybe they'll calm down after a couple of days. If not, I can lure them out and murder them until all of my problems are solved. <sighs> Still, these guys need to build some turmeric. Hey, turmeric. I have turmeric. Yay for turmeric. You know, I paid them money to teach me how to plant this stuff. I should be able to just right-click on it, but it has conflict with with AgroCraft, because AgroCraft prevents normal planting of crops with the config it has, so I can't, in fact, grow this stuff, even though I paid money, you know, to be able to. Yeah, anyway, they'll eventually replant it on their own. I know that from the few times I've harvested their rice paddy over there. They'll just eventually replant the crops. And... I don't know. They eventually just decided to build that thing on their own. They still haven't figured out, you know, that... Okay, first of all, this guy, you saw me kill him, right? Well, apparently rumors of his death have been greatly exaggerated. Look over here in the list of villagers here. Eh, no, wait. This is the list of villagers. Yeah, here he is. The stone carver. Temporarily dead. Ugh. That's... That's, uh... That's worrying. It's been about three Minecraft days since then, and he hasn't shown up or anything. Oh, and, um, I had to kill the village head as well. He was... He was the guy who was, like, constantly on my ass trying to kill me. And, oh, yeah. Chickens. Apparently, all these Hindi villages must have chickens just roaming everywhere. Ugh. Hindi civilization, two out of five, would not revive again. In Minecraft, no offense to, like, real life. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Got their souvenirs, got their unique crops, I am done here. Next up... Oh, boy. Oh, yes, I, I put a wireless with max range up on my little tower over there. So I can just kind of do as I please. Next up, um, I think the one that'll take the most amount of time after this is the Byzantines. And after that, it should all be relatively easy. So, let's let's just go for the next hardest, I guess. Try and get this over with, you know? Make it so that the job will get easier as I go on. I'll just clear out these trees. So, I think for the, for the Byzantines, what I want is this uh, Corio Emporicos, which is their agricultural town that should eventually give me wine grapes and i think all towns produce byzantine tiles which is the souvenir that i want oh, 
that and a, a job board that's kind of sitting out in the open. That's interesting. Okay, so what stuff do you buy? Oh, you buy lots of stuff. Silks and papers, iron, leather. Yeah, you guys are you guys are definitely a little bit more fleshed out. Well, let's start to provide. Oh yeah, and um, I found that if I close out and reopen the game a couple of times, I can eventually just like roll the dice until I get, you know, until it stops sucking so much. Okay, and let's get you some oak wood, of course. I think despite being chunk loaded, my oak farm isn't going, but oh well. But yeah, I'll just start building these guys up. And unlike the Hindi, I shouldn't need to mess around with their frickin' bricks. They should be able to handle all that themselves. So this will mostly be a matter of just AFKing nearby. You know what? Screw it. I can walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. Let's set up a couple of villages and just start running them in parallel. So the other one that I'm going to want is the Mayans. I think that Almost all of them will be able to make the souvenirs, which are these gold ornaments. Um, that's a really high tier building, though, so it'll take a while. And the crop I want from them is maize. So, their farming village is the Jubui. I should stop trying to pronounce these names. It's this one. A boop. Ooh, very fancy looking. Okay, and I'll do one more just for the Japanese. The only thing I need from the Japanese, because I already have rice, is I just need thatching, which they make out of wheat for all their roofs, so it should be really fast and easy, and I should need to do practically nothing for them. Okay, let's see. This should be out of the grill of those two villages. Is it still in range of my wireless? Yes, it is. And I'm going to have to bring a charger over here sooner or later. Oh, yes, and... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't particularly matter what village I get. Hold on, let me... I'm just looking up the, uh, the wiki because I do not know these words. Okay, apparently their agricultural village, which I might as well go with, is this one, the Noji Mura. Ugh. Ugh. Got like, got like wall to the face there. Very rude. That was dishonorable of you, Japan. Oh, look at that. That is interesting. What is that, a rice patty? Meat. If nothing else, I think this is the prettiest looking village so far. Anyway, I will be running around between all three of these guys, stocking them up and seeing what they can make for me. Oh dear. That's right. I need to do the relationship dance as well to get all these people, you know, like, at least marginally tolerable of each other before they start making war. Uh, are you alright, guy? I mean, I know that you guys, like, sleep on the floor if you aren't of a culture that builds beds, but that's, that's not sleeping on the floor, that's sleeping in the floor. Uh, you have fun with that. Most of these villagers are just sitting around making bunches of thatch, so I can just, I think I only need to buy, like, freaking one of it. Yep. And that is pretty much all I need from Glorious Nippon. Hey, look at that. Byzantine tiles. And I think that's the souvenir quest. Ah, no, it also wants Vin. And for that, we need to make a vineyard. 
Imagine that. I'm not sure if that's under construction yet. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they're building an inn right now. They've got a fisherman's hut, a bunch of other stuff, but they haven't built a vineyard yet. Still, that should be on the list. And it should be fairly high priority, I think. Yeah, there's the project list. Starting buildings, key buildings, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Vineyard's one of the key buildings, which means it's mandatory for them to build it sooner or later. And, uh, yeah. Let's check out these Byzantine tiles. Are they, are they like... They're kind of crap. Oh, well. Ugh. Mayans. They spent a freakishly inordinate amount of time building this plot, which is labeled as a corn farm, but they have no one to tend it, so they haven't planted any maize. Ugh. Why would they even... Ugh, just... Ugh, ugh. Grow up faster, kids. Yeah, it's, they don't even have that many children. Okay, that's it. I am introducing them to porn. Need to get the birth rate higher. Wait, would porn accomplish that? It might make it lower. Hmm. I will provide them with a base amount of porn and then take it away. Yes! That's the plan! <laughs> hey, look at that. They finally got off their ass. We have a maze, but in my language we call it corn. There we go. And that... just leaves me with grapes left to find. Lovely. Oh, oh, better build a fence. Oh, no, no, back to the other side. Oh, but there's fence over there I need to do. Oh, oh, derp, derp. oh but there's the fence over there. I gotta do that. Dude, just, just, just pick a side. There, it's resolved. Do you see how much easier this is? God. Freaking humans. Freaking finally. They start on the vineyard. Get my booze on. Look at this gorgeous mountain of garbage. My god. I haven't even tasted it yet and the booze already looks good. Oh, it flows. It flows, oh sweet Dionysus, it flows. C come on. Y you're, you're a Wynick. You, you you have the, the the word wine in 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 your in your name. Do it. Plant the booze grapes. Do it, you filthy whore. Oh hell yes, yes. Finally, not only do I have a quest complete, but finally. I can get my drank on. Okay, so I believe that should be the the crops quest. Yep, there it is. More, more wine grapes. Not only that, but this stuff is used in a crafting recipe to make vin. Yep. That's how booze works, just like mash a bunch of grapes. Fermentation? More like suck my dick. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the good stuff. Mmm. -hmm. Look at that. Mild nausea for five seconds and regen for 15 seconds. Minor bit of hunger increase. And it's freaking booze. And that also gets me the Byzantine souvenirs. Now all that's left is I need to get these Mayans to build some gold bling whatever crap. I've been drinking for a while in real life in case you're wondering. Oh my yes.
Holy shit, yes, I just saw this guy. He, he briefly flashed by a thing saying, making gold ornaments. Okay, are you selling them in this shop? No. Okay, where did he put them? He put them in this chest. Can I take them? No. No, I cannot. But but gold ornaments exist. Ah, he's, he's taking resources from home. Come on, yeah. I've had a couple of crashes, and now they're stuck in the stutter step again. He's delivering resources, and I just saw it in his hand. Okay. Okay, he's delivered resources. Now I just need to summon a shopkeeper. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Chapter complete. Chapter freaking complete. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well. I think that these guys can handle themselves now. I mean, you, you know, I just realized, like, when I eventually do whatever happens when a player leaves the world and, like, it continues on in history. This will probably be, like, their creation myth I'm living right now. These guys are going to have a really screwed up religion. Anyway. I think before I leave, I'm going to rip up all the chunk loaders. And I'll leave the quantum ring, but I'll just take all these wireless boosters out of this thing so just in case just in case that still works for whatever reason it's not constantly draining 8,000 RF per tick doing nothing not that it particularly matters but you know okay no more chunk loaders uh, I guess that if I ever want to deal more with the townspeople for whatever reason I'll just have to like come back here manually it's at about 1,000, negative 600, I don't know. It's about in this area. Okay. Homeward. Well. You know what? I don't think I'm cut out to be a robot overlord. Dealing with people is just too much bullshit. But hey, there's, they exist now. That's, that's, that's a good thing.